Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how you can create um, a beautiful social media graphic using the free Adobe Spark Post app. So as you can see, um, this is um, a recording off my phone. So what I'll do is I will open the Adobe Spark Post app. So it's the one on the bottom left hand corner. So go ahead and click on it. Okay, so as you can see, um, Adobe Spark Post provides lots of templates for you. So it's quite hard to go wrong. I mean, um, they've provided a lot of templates that are quite beautiful. Okay, so as you can see, I'm scrolling through and there's lots of options here. I will go ahead and choose one. Let's go with this one. So stop and smell the roses. So this is a template that Adobe Spark Post has provided. As you can see, it's been used um, and remixed um, almost 13,000 times. Um, so what I'll do here is just go ahead and click on remix. Okay, so then now um, basically what you can do is you can pretty much use this template as a starting point and create um, a social graphic for your own um, social media. So say for example, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, your YouTube cover photo, etc. Okay, so firstly, let's click on layout. And then you'll see three options in layouts, resize and spacing. I will go ahead and choose resize. Okay, so if you go right to the beginning, as you can see, they've um, got the dimensions already set up for you. So whether you're choosing Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, blog post, Facebook ad. So there's, you know, just so many that they've already pretty much resized for you and you can just choose the template. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and choose an Instagram size and then I'll click on done. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is I'll probably change the text. So I'll probably do a, a nice quote sort of um, post. So let's click on the text and then if you double click on it, you can go ahead and edit and input whatever text you like. So I've already got a quote prepared under my notes. So what I'll do is I'll just cut and paste this. Okay, so there we go. Just copy that. Just go back to the app and just paste that in and then click done. And there we go. So um, it's replaced the text, but obviously this is in the final look that I will go with. Um, so let's take get away from that and then as you can see at the bottom they've already got their print on their Adobe Spark so I'll just go ahead and and remove that so let's just actually what I'll do is I'll probably just edit that so I'll just go back to my notes and just grab the author's details of this quote so copy and then go back onto the Spark Post app double click on it and then delete that and paste in the author, done. And then as you can see in this font area, you can go ahead and change the font if you like, um, or the style. So it gives you pre-populate styling for you. So what I'll do is, firstly the shape, I'll probably just stick with basic for now. Okay, so basic and just go done. And then there's one more text I'd like to add. So as you can see, this option says add design layout, palette, photo, and animation. I'll go and click on the plus button, which is add. And then you can either add a text or photo. I'll go ahead and add a text. And I'll just pop in my website here. Dot taste color. Ooh, not spelling that correctly. Color dot co dot nz and done. There we go, so I've got three texts here. Okay, so what I'll do now is I will go and choose um, a different layout, um, different templates. So if you go ahead and click on the design, okay, and then as you can see, um, it brings up with more template options. So when you click on it, you can pretty much, so from now you can just play around and see which one would suit um, whatever graphic you're trying to create. So in my in the scenario, I'm trying to create a um, a nice looking background and you know um, area for my quote. So I'll just click through it, and actually, if you if you click on the same one, it will basically rejig the text so you can see what works. So obviously, from in this instance, I'd like um, 
the quote to be the prominent feature so I'd want that to be the biggest text but obviously this wouldn't work because you can't really read that um, so let's just go through the options and see what looks nice okay I think this one looks quite nice so I'll just click on it and see how it rejects it for me okay awesome so I think this is quite a good template so let's go with this and click on done Okay, so we're back to this page. So what I'll do is I'll just move things around a bit. So let's move the author's name. Let's just resize that. And I just want to make this bigger. There we go. So with the box here, you can just resize it however you like. And then when you click on it, you've got the options of changing the color, the font, the alignment, that sort of thing. So perhaps I will look at a font so you can choose probably don't want a script font I probably want just stick to an elegant font perhaps let's see okay so as you can see there's like a ton of options and it's really you know straightforward and easy to use okay I think I liked yeah okay let's just go with oh, hang on okay maybe I'll just stick with this one so sweet I'm happy with that maybe make it a little bigger and as you can see the yellow dotted lines just center just shows you where the center is Okay, and then this is the author's name. I'd like to change the font because clearly you can't read that. I think I'll choose a nice script. That's just a fancy looking font. But that's still readable. Okay, let's go with maybe that. And then let's go change the color. Sorry, so let's click on it and then you can choose color. And then they give you a suggested um colors here so to go with um, the color palette okay actually I don't really I'll choose I like this color but I think I'll just go ahead and change the font okay I think I'm being too picky here Let's just stick with the one for, for this video. Don't want this video to be longer than necessary. <laughs> so let's just go with... Okay, that's fine. Let's just make that a little smaller and align that there. And then lastly, with my um, website, I probably want to change the alignment. No, not the alignment. Where are we? Let's change the... Spacing. Okay, no, that's just spacing of that box. Let's change the font firstly. Probably let's just go with the Leto. Yeah, that's better. Um, so I want them lowercase. And then the style. Um, let's go with shape actually. And just one. There we go. So I think that might be quite cool. And then maybe let's look at the color okay so just I'll go with the suggested color palette and then there we go I can just move things around maybe place that here and let's just move this around a bit Okay, and there we go. So that's it. And that's how quick it was to create a um, quite a beautiful social media post. And I quite like this quote. Just read it. I'll just read it out to you. So measure your success only by what truly matters, your happiness and the happiness you bring to others. If today you laughed, felt inspired or consoled a friend, smiled to a stranger, stood for a cause or inch closer to one of your dreams, then today was a resounding success. Thanks guys for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks. See ya.